No. Humphrey Bogart. With all due respect, Mr. Donovan. No, 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 Montoya. We're drinking. You may call me Colin. Really? Absolutely not. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay. But Bogart? Humphrey Bogart was the action hero of the 1940s. That was 60 years ago. I mean, today's action hero, Willis, Sly. Bogart never let his emotions get the best of him. What about High Sierra? That was an earlier movie. I'm talking about Maltese Falcon, Big Sleep, Casablanca. The man gave up Ingrid Bergman just to save the world. Ingrid who? Uh, that's just because he knew that it was never meant to be. When Rick knew Ilsa in Paris, she was grieving over a dead husband. She never really had any true feelings for Rick or for hell, probably for Victor for that matter. We know what she was willing to do to get Rick to help her out of Casablanca. All right, I understand what you're saying about Rick and Ilsa, but she loved Victor. No, no self-respecting woman's gonna cheat on her husband if she truly loves him. Mike, I understand your point, but let me ask you a question. Do you believe that Ilsa thought that Victor loved the cause more than her? Most definitely. So I submit to you that she slept with Rick to get Victor's attention. Now, we don't know for sure that she slept with him. We know she was willing to. Well, whether we knew or not, that's not the point. Being willing to is the sin. Wait, so you're saying if I, let's say I wanted to kill Montoy? Hey. Just because I'm willing to kill him, you're saying I'm instantly guilty of killing him? Sure, why not? Everyone yeah. wants to do something. Something stops them. They're called morals. In matters of love, the thought is the sin. I don't know about that. What would you have done in Bogey Shoes, Colin? I would have killed Victor, taken Ilsa, and saved the world myself. Cool. <laughs> I want it all, boys and girls. And with that, I must retire. <laughs>